Breaking news, stay at home. That is the order tonight as the coronavirus pandemic spreads. We need to bend the curve in the state of California. Social distancing works. Stay home, save lives. Your actions can affect my health. It's critically important that everyone follows the orders that we are given. The governor of California came out with a new set of restrictions. One of those restrictions was you can no longer sing in church anymore. Period. Full stop. And I remember when he said that and I heard that, I was like, <laughs> OK, it's on. More than 50,000 Americans have now died from this virus. Christian singer and activist Sean Foyt leading what's called Let Us Worship. He called it a worship protest. Oh, the organizers used the pretense of religion, and that simply was not right. If Jesus were here right now, he absolutely would wear a mask. Meanwhile, suicide rates are exploding. Drug and alcohol use is ravaging America, rioting and, and destruction and unrest, and there's no church to bring the hope. I get a letter from the city prosecutor saying that you're violating the CDC requirement. We reserve the right to arrest your church members. Every thought I had was I wanted to end it. That's scary. If you've observed recurring violations of the safer at home order, in this case, snitches get rewards. It's wild that this is happening in America, and it's wild that people are OK with it. There was a, a man that we met. He grew up in the communist country. He grabbed my hands and he said, all the things that are happening right now is how it began for us. America needs to wake up. You have to wake them up. Now that is where communism and Christianity have a headlong clash. How close is Christian nationalism to white nationalism? It is close. There are things happening today that are pushing people to a second American revolution. Christians are rising up, I'm telling you guys. This guy is probably responsible for hundreds of deaths. You know how valuable your life is? Jesus, we have to heal this country. What people like Sean are saying about what God says oftentimes is false. You are not a Christian! <laughs> There's a pandemic, there's a plague, here's a move of God that's going to change America.